What is up loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys can see me and I don't look like a straight up Casper with the sunlight glaring all over my face. Hopefully you guys are all having an absolutely fantastic day. So we are down to the last six days until the last day to enter the 2002 24 valve giveaway. Now I'm gonna show you that truck really quick, but that's not necessarily what this video is about. This video is about the mud truck right now and then a couple of other things, but we'll get into that. First question is how did you guys like the content with the mud truck the other day? Now, keep in mind the chain is kind of the replacement of the winch idea. The reason is we didn't really have time to get a winch in and we've been traveling like crazy. I know the videos won't make it look like it, but we have been gone traveling like the last 10, 11 days. So it has just been busy, busy, busy swamp. We've just been traveling, putting some hours on the road. I mean, just so you guys can see kind of like what I mean by that. I've got almost 1,300 miles on my brand new truck in like six days. So, I mean, we've been traveling a lot, been very busy. What did you guys think about the mud truck content the other day with putting this thing in at least some baby mud holes? Now, no, that is not the final video and final thing we're gonna do with this truck. We've still got a few things we wanna do. Just really make it that much better for what it's being built for. When I say built, take that very lightly. This build is not an extreme build. But anyway, so we got some, what are they called? No, Mile Star Pentagonia MT tires. Now, I know there are gonna be some people that say they're cheap, they're not gonna last long, they're a cheap tire, which I get it, but <laughs> we're putting it on a rotted out 1993 first gen. I don't think I'm too concerned about how long the tires are gonna last. It's really just a bury in a mud hole. And this was the cheapest, most effective way to get that content filmed without going and literally spending a fortune on tires. I know this guy's gonna say, go MT with Ditto and Toyo and all this stuff. And I'm like, dude, I'm not spending a grand on freaking tires for this truck. And then I'm just gonna be getting rid of the truck. So just not really what I want to do right now. But in terms of the truck's capabilities in the other video, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. But it did pretty darn good. I gotta say, I was very impressed. And I know it wasn't very deep mud, but even when we backed it down into that river, other than the times and it was falling in and out of, you know, drive and in, into neutral and drive into neutral, you know, just crawled right out, no problem. And we backed all four tires down into that river in that spot. After you go through that spot a time or two where you start flooring it, it does turn into quicksand. So I used to mud through there with a four wheeler a long time ago. It was really fun the first few times, but then after a handful of mud runs back and forth, it just got slick and sticky. And I mean, it just got, it was it was really bad. So that's what we're gonna be trying to bury this truck in, but hopefully it can make it through the first time or two without getting stuck, but we'll see. The next step for this truck is gonna be getting it over to the shop right around the corner that has always hooked us up and gotten our work done for us. And we are going to get these new tires on these wheels. So stay tuned. I almost completely forgot to show you this truck that you could be winning and taking home. Six days until the last day is upon us, so do not miss out. By the time you see this video, it might be five days. So do not miss out. Information is in the description below. But this is how easy it is. Every $15 you spend gets you an automatic entry to win, and $15 is just the minimum requirement to be entered. So take that into consideration. It's a very, very low entry fee to be able to take home a truck like this. Just think about that. It's just a monster. Like, it's just so freaking nice. So stoked, so stoked. So anyways guys, cannot wait to meet whoever it is that is lucky enough to claim the keys to this beautiful beast. Cannot wait to see you here, but do not forget to enter. Your time is running out and I do not want anybody to miss out on their chance to win their dream truck. Batteries are a little bit weak, but I got it started. So this is something crazy that just happened. So a lot of you guys know that I traded in my 2018 Longhorn, the truck that I just built in about six months worth of time, just actually having it and driving it, doing some small stuff to it. And it was an awesome truck, but I traded that truck in. I never did tell you where I traded it in. It was down in Franklin, Indiana is where I traded that truck in. Funny thing, we're actually driving straight through the middle of Fort Wayne, which is where I'm from. Not gonna tell you what area or what town on the outskirts of Fort Wayne. We're driving through Fort Wayne and Reagan's like, there's your truck. And I'm like, where? Like, I'm like, there's like a hundred lifted trucks. I'm like, where's my truck? She's like, right there, like right front and center, like the very front and center truck and the very front and center of the lot pulled out further than all the rest. My truck's sitting there three and a half hours away, all the way back up to Fort Wayne. That's pretty cool. So on our way back from the diesel shop here, where we're going to talk about getting the fifth gen worked on, we're actually going to try to stop by and see if we can get something on some video of that fourth gen again. 
just so you guys can see that it is for sale in Fort Wayne and I can show you what lot it is for sale on. Pulling up towards the lot, we did just get away from the diesel shop that's gonna be doing the work on the 2019 and they also did the work on the 2018, but let's check out my truck. When we were driving by, Reagan noticed it and it is sitting front and center on this lot. Like it is like the showcase vehicle on their lot. So I'm actually kind of uh, kind of excited to see it here. If I can find a way to pull into this lot. Yeah, right there in the front. I think they stripped all of my lot and proud decals off. But I'm kind of curious to see if they, uh, they'll let me make a little video around it real quick. There she is. That's crazy. What do you think about that? <laughs> We're gonna get out and take a little peek around it. Here she is, boys. I did just talk to the dealer and they said I could show you guys around the truck and work for sale, but it's at Davco in Fort Wayne. There. You can see their sign there, but there she is. Man, I miss this truck a lot. I really do. It sure was a pretty one, I gotta tell you. What do you think? It's, it's weird. <laughs> But yep, here that's for it's for sales at Davco, davcoauto.com. Guys, we have been all over the place, not just doing truck stuff, but we're actually launching some new businesses that you guys, for the most part, will never see or really know much about other than, you know, what it is that we do eventually here. But we've just got a lot of new stuff. And if you want to ever really make it very far in life in this world, more specifically in this country, you have to go beyond one field and only one field if you really want to have the freedom to do what you love to do day in and day out. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're, we're expanding our portfolio. We're going to be picking up the mud truck project right now and we're going to show you guys what it looks like with the 35s. I don't know if they clear or not. They should because I cut a lot of fender off, but I don't know. We're about to find out what it looks like and then I can't wait until the next video here too when we actually get to launch that thing into a mud pit because it's gonna be pretty fun. We just got the 35 by 1250 mud tires on the first gen. Now it is a tight fit, but it does fit. That's the closest it gets to rubbing, and there's about an inch gap, inch and a half gap. So not bad, full lock, pretty good, pretty satisfied with it. And you guys can kind of see the tread pattern and how much more aggressive these are if the lighting can cooperate. Um, they're actually gonna work out, I think, just about perfect for what we're gonna do. They've got a decently aggressive sidewall, nothing too crazy. They put the white walls out because I told them to. But um, I decided it'd be kind of funny, you know, kind of go with the rest of the build, which is just kind of an awkward build. I think it's gonna do pretty good. I think it's gonna treat us well. And I'm actually pretty freaking stoked to get this thing and bury it in some mud. But look at that. It's aggressive, looks good. Intake looks good. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this build. I know some of you guys have just been like going crazy about this and you think it's the coolest freaking just goofball thing. And I honestly think it, it is it is pretty awesome, but it's just it's just a lot of fun. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. That's a look at the new mud tires. We do have some stuff coming up for this truck right here too, so stay tuned. It's not gonna be very long. A couple more videos here, handful videos, and we should be getting some serious work done to this truck down in Mexico. And then uh, it's gonna be running really good and finally performing like it should and uh, but it's been enjoyable the first quiet 1300 miles but it's time for some time for some big improvements so do not forget to enter to win this truck you guys are running out of time five or six days left by the time you see this video and it is over may 13th at 11 59 p.m the giveaway for this truck is done and over with so do not miss out on your opportunity to take this beautiful beautiful truck home probably locked up yeah it's locked up which is good but anyways guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that thumbs up leave your comments down below subscribe if you're new join the team join the family and i'll catch you in the next video peace